humanity has created an inhuman, inhumane entity and bestowed it with the power and authority to make slaves of us all. This entity exists everywhere and nowhere at the same time. It cannot be pointed at, but is composed of many people, buildings, organizations, and literally every plot and parcel of land on earth. Like an errant father, it has turned from a cherished provider and protector into an abusive and manipulative slave driver. I'm speaking, of course, of daddy government, its monopoly on force and violence, and its imposition of indentured servitude through taxation. Every piece of known land on earth has been claimed and is currently owned by this inhuman entity. Many parcels of land are designated national parks, others turned into highways, some made into industrial sites, commercial areas, and a few deemed residential, where we're allowed to live. In these residential areas, you may choose to buy or rent, but regardless of which you choose, you will never truly own your home, and have to continue paying to live there forever. If you choose to rent, you must pay the landlord indefinitely, or failure to do so will result in your home being taken away. Likewise, if you choose to buy, you must pay the government their taxes indefinitely, and failure to do so will also get your home taken away. Regardless of your choice, the systems in place demand you must pay to play. You cannot simply find an unused plot of land and mine the resources available to build a homestead for yourself and your family. You must instead first find perpetual employment that provides regular income and then maintain that regular income for your entire lifetime simply to survive. If at any point, for any reason, your stream of regular income declines too far or disappears, your home is taken away. Government ensures this narrative repeats itself indefinitely, and has done so to humanity's detriment for centuries. But just one simple switch, one small change, could eliminate this completely. With this tiny tweak, governments could swiftly and simply end all hunger and homelessness in the world. With this minor modification, governments could release humanity from its indentured servitude and finally grant people true freedom and sovereignty. So what is this amazing alteration, you ask? It's the elimination of compulsory land taxes and the introduction of universal government land grants. In other words, giving every human being a free, untaxed plot of land that is theirs to keep for as long as they live. If an entity like government is to exist at all, shouldn't its first order of business be to ensure basic survival needs? As it stands now, all governments in the world are ensuring the exact opposite, by forcing everyone into employment to compete for enough currency to keep up. If instead everyone was granted by government at birth a small plot of land, homelessness would be eliminated instantly, and hunger eradicated shortly thereafter, as everyone would then have the means, the freedom, and the time to build their own homes and gardens. If everyone was insured a piece of free, untaxed land for life, jobs and regular employment would become an option for ambitious entrepreneurs, rather than an absolute necessity for daily survival. Why should governments even exist at all, if not to provide such a service? Currently, the world's governments are instead insuring our enslavement through rampant taxation and inflation. In America, for example, the entire country's population could each be gifted a half acre of free land, which is enough to build a modest house and maintain a family garden, and this would only encompass the amount of land in the state of Texas. The entire rest of the country would still be open and available for all other existing types of private and public property. The grants could encompass existing residential areas or designate new ones. Introducing such a policy as free, untaxed land for all would be a true milestone and set an impressive precedent for whichever government led the way first. Not only would they end poverty, hunger, and homelessness nearly overnight, but they would gain the gratitude of the people and start to build back trust. As it stands now, every government on earth chooses instead to enslave their populations through endless taxation and perpetual inflation. No government has shown enough compassion to even allow its citizens to live freely upon their ancestors' land without paying inheritance and annual taxes. Every politician and government employee receives their paycheck 
from these mandatory taxes we're forced to pay them. So it's no wonder something as simple as this land program has never been instituted. In 1862, America introduced the Homestead Act, which allowed citizens, including freed slaves, to put claims for up to 160 acres of federal land, provided they cultivated and built a home upon it. This succeeded in encouraging westward expansion, but was soon ended thereafter. And even the brief Homestead Act included several administration fees and taxes. Considering the direction people like World Economic Forum Chairman Klaus Schwab want to take us, saying that by 2030, quote, we will own nothing and be happy, I would like to see some significant pushback in the other direction. How about we will actually own the land we live on and be happy? How about we realize true ownership and taxation cannot coexist? The most fundamental of all freedoms is the right to simply exist on earth, and no government even upholds this bare necessity. We all need a place to exist. We all deserve a home. We were all born on and of this earth, but yet we're all made to pay for the privilege of living on it? What kind of insanity is this? And when will enough of us realize and revolutionize the issue?